Ideally, the best way to snuff weeds is before they start. That's the premise of Harvest Weed Control Systems. These systems, which started in Australia, hold promise in the United States too. University of Missouri weed scientists have been testing one of these units, the Seed Terminator. In this segment of Weeds Playbook, Kevin Bradley, University of Missouri Extension Weed Specialist, describes the technology and the goals for it. The concept is just simply that uh, we're gonna try to take whatever weed seed is there at the time of harvest and um, not allow that seed to go back into the ground, into the soil. Uh, so it's a fairly simple, straightforward idea. That's kind of one that we kind of say, why didn't we think of this sooner? Uh, but how do we accomplish that? Uh, one of the methods of harvest weed seed control is uh, impact mills that are integrated into combines. Uh, there's two primary um, manufacturers, if you will, that are in the U.S. right now trying to, I guess, promote these. Uh, Seed Terminator and Ready Cop. Those are two companies at least I know of. And the whole premise is just simply, uh, as the weed seeds enters the combine, uh, these implements will grind those weed seeds up and whatever's coming out of the back is rendered no longer viable. And so in that way you can deplete that soil seed bank over time. Some of the disadvantages uh, from what we've learned in our research, or, or you might say one of, the, one of the negatives, I won't call it a disadvantage, uh, because there's a lot of positives, but one of the negatives is that we do not get all of the weed seed into the combine. Uh, we get a majority of it, somewhere around 20, 22%, you know, based on our research. Uh, as that reel is, is turning, every farmer and everybody that's ever seen a combine can, can see this in their heads. As you're going through the field and you see that reel turning, well obviously sometimes it's going to hit the, the seed head of a water hemp or a pigweed or a palmer or whatever. And when it does that, it, it, it can cause shattering and some of that seed can shatter such that it goes onto the soil and, and not enter the combine. So there, you're not going to get it all. We don't sell silver bullets, never have. Uh, you're not going to get all of it, but you're going to get the majority of it. I would say some of the things that we've learned from doing this in a different climate compared to the arid one of Australia is that our weeds can stay green and uh, we can be harvesting without a frost uh, in several geographies. Um, obviously, the further you go south, you know, the less likely you're going to have a frost at the time of harvest. Uh, that can influence uh, clogging potential for clogging. It can also influence uh, the amount of seed that's retained on that plant. Uh, so there's lots of factors there. But I would say, uh, you know, another thing that might enter into the negative category that we haven't totally figured out yet would be that uh, as you go further and further south in the U.S., there's a greater potential for clogging as you harvest green, nasty pigweeds that have a lot of juice in them and have not been frosted on yet. But I'll say this, in our two years of doing research, we haven't clogged once in Missouri with the seed terminator. So based on our data, you're going to lose about 20, 22%, whatever that number is, to the, to the what we call um, header loss. Okay, so of everything that's out in the field, uh, about 20%, let's just stick with that number, about 20% is not going to enter the combine. Of the remaining amount that enters into the combine, um, what enters into these devices, based on our research, 94% uh, 94 of, 94 of that seed is ground up and, and rendered non-viable. So, you know, very, very high percent of what actually gets into the combine will be ground up and no longer viable. And, uh, you know, you can see substantial reductions in the seed bank the next, the next spring. Well, what the farmers always want to know uh, inevitably and any time I talk is well what about the performance of the combine and what does it do to me if I put it on my combine does it slow me down does it cost me more money does it does it have more fuel requirements and all of that and the answer is yes obviously it costs you for the for the implement itself but uh, it, it does burn a little more fuel when you have one of these engaged uh, in our results it, it barely slows you down I'm, I'm saying like uh, 0.2 miles per hour difference in harvest time when it's on versus off so to me that's that's nothing um, but there's there's more load on the engine itself um, but if you're running a class 7 or class 8 combine that 
that has not been an issue for us. Um, and like I said, there's, there's a little bit more fuel burned compared to if you didn't have one. So those, those are the first things that farmers care about is, you know, what's it going to do to my combine and, and my speed of harvest. I, I think we're good on the speed of harvest thing. I don't think it's going to make much difference. Harvest weed control systems featuring systems like the Seed Terminator show promise for nixing weeds before they start. For more information, check out Successful Farming Magazine's Weeds Playbook Stories and other weed management stories for more information on this topic and others.